Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title of the video, we are doing another Hobonichi plan with me. I've been loving my Hobonichi. So of course, I'm going to keep bringing you my Hobonichi um, plan with me layout. Um, I finally got my cover that I ordered like a month ago or more, more than a month ago. Actually, no, today is the month. It came on the month. It, it took literally one month. And honestly, I'm underwhelmed and yeah. <laughs> whatever so i gotta use it now but yeah if i could i would have gotten a different route so then this week i'm gonna go ahead and use the libby and co um hobonichi's week right over here this is gonna be in the black and gray and marbling i believe super cute because i don't think i have a lot going on so i want to use these cute things now this is vinyl sticker so i did pull out my um sharpie ultra fine retractable pen very fine tip so this is what i'm going to be using because i think you need to use a permanent marker i'm not sure if this this is a permanent marker but i'm not sure how good it works with them of course i have my ruler my westcott ruler because i like to outline my weeks and then my tombow because i use this to outline everything else and not the sharpie as much the sharpie is just red on the stickers so let's go ahead and open up and we are this is the week right now that we're in. Today is actually Saturday. I haven't done anything. I'm going to go see my parents and all my mo mamas out there. Happy Mother's Day. I'm going to go see my mom and wish her happy Mother's Day. So yeah. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and lay out. Let me zoom in. I was a butt. Um, the washi. The bottom washi. Super cute. Now, I'm not sure if vinyl is removable, but we're going to find out today. Woo. And honestly, props to all the shop owners that do Hobonichi kits because, trust me, I've tried. And it's such a pain, dude. Oh, my God. If you guys don't know, I opened up my own Etsy shop. And if you have purchased from me, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. But I've been trying to play around with the idea of Hobonichi kits and Lord <laughs> let's just say um, talent is needed very needed to create these types of very small stickers because baby Jesus this 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 is difficult sometimes all right so let me go ahead and put this on here as well oh it's coming out crooked okay don't rip, don't rip. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, vinyl is removable and super soft to remove, so that's good. Oh, Lord. The only issue that I'm having with the Hobonichis when I'm the, trying to create my own, because let's be honest, stickers kind of kind of are a pain in the butt to create, is that I can never get this gapping correct. You see, let me just that gapping every i guess everyone has an issue with it i do too so that's that oh this laid out so crooked oh my god give me one second yeah, i'll be okay, right yeah that was a struggle oh my god see that's the thing about hobinichis you have to have patience for these if you don't have patience and you just like to throw on your stickers slap them on and call it a day the hobinichi is not for you this paper can be stressful what it's so nice to look at after you know everything that you really don't <laughs> do you guys see that <laughs> it's not coming back up so we're gonna leave that like that we do the other one but i mean i'm loving this vinyl paper it's pretty really pretty so let me go ahead and lay down the other side it's like needs like the utmost concentration i swear okay no that's not working out honestly like hobonichi plans with me or like how stressful sticker planning can be <laughs> i don't think it was meant for sticker planning but here we are doing it regardless all right we're gonna go ahead and lay down let me zoom you guys out a bit we're going to lay down the side um, bar thing here. 
hopefully this is one large strip and not individual because I don't like the individual strips. Yes, I like one long strip. Makes life so much easier. You guys, I didn't even say what week we we're going to plan on. We're planning on the May 13th. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. To the 19th. Lord! <laughs> So let me go ahead and do that right now. So 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. Got it. We're halfway in May already? Oh my God, it's insane. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the weekend banner. I like putting that right over here where the weekend actually is. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot, but this just requires like concentration. <laughs> oh my god, there we go. Weekend is on there. I like the outline though. This black and gray and marveling is so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to plan how I have it in my head. So on Thursday, I do have two doctor's appointments we'll put it right here and this is huge because these the, I'm seeing my hand specialist so as you guys know I'm off on workers comp and I have not been working because my job is not accommodating my restrictions which I totally understand and honestly I'm really glad that they can't because I'm being able to recover however I'm not getting better from my hand so we're gonna go see a uh, hand specialist to see you know what is going on inside and to see you know what is causing my injury so let's go ahead and put the thing is like this appointment so early that i'm gonna be like dying so i have um appointment at 7 a.m and then i have another appointment at 1 p.m in the same clinic so hopefully i can ask them if i can just be seen back to back so that is what's going on that day let's see monday do i have anything monday i don't know but i'm gonna go ahead and put all these boxes down because something always happens no matter what i pre-plan or not I know my last um, plan with me, I didn't do um, the fill-in part just because I didn't have much to fill in. This might be the same case, so yeah, if this might be like before the pen except that I already wrote something there, so if that's not your cup of tea, I'm so sorry, but sometimes I don't know what my plans are, so let's fill it all in. This reminds me of my premium stickers. They're so hard to pull up sometimes, but they're there. We just got to learn how to lift them up. Also, if you purchased from my Etsy shop, please let me know how you're liking it. If you have any issues with them, please let me know. I will try to fix anything and everything right away. But yeah, let me know if you like them. Any feedback. I would love suggestions for new stickers. Whatever you guys want. I want to hear it. All right, my camera is overheating, so let me lay the rest of these boxes and I'll be right back. Okay, I got my boxes laid out. But you guys, I actually want to talk about, you know, the whole process of opening an Etsy sticker shop. So it was probably the last week of April, and I'm just putting my checklist boxes here if you're wondering. And I was really like kind of frustrated with me having to wait for income and not knowing how much I was going to get. So um, I was talk talking to Romina and she said, you know, she was encouraging me to open my shop and I was really grateful for her. Um, so I think she was like my push basically. But um, I think it was April 30th and I tweeted out, you know, making a plan, setting something. And I was like, I'm doing it. I'm going to go ahead and create a plan, put a timeline, and make deadlines for um, for this. And that's exactly what I did. I, I was like, you know what? 
I want to sell something that it's true to me, true to what I do, who I am. So of course I just thought, you know, my budget stickers, I'm just going to put the way I budget in sticker form. That's exactly what I did. And I was just like, I need to have my shop life before my doctor's appointment. Because I don't know what it was. I kept thinking that if I do it after my doctor's appointment, I'd probably be back at work and I would just like take, just not care for it. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to take, it took me 10 days, literally 10 days to, you know, put everything together, finalize everything and call it a day. So, um, yeah, I was so nervous. I was stressing. I was like, what if people don't like me? People don't like my stickers. What if, you know, I don't sell anything? And then I remember hearing like Shea Budgets in one of her rants on, on Instagram or YouTube. And she says, well, how will you know if you never do it? And I think that was like my ultimate like kind of process thinking about it. So I was like, let me do it before they say I can go back to work. And that was my deadline. I think I gave myself 10 days. So I was designing my stickers for like three to four days. Then I was printing and cutting. And then I bought all the supplies one day and just waited for it the next day because my boyfriend has Amazon Prime. So that's what we use. And yeah once i got everything in i was just like i have no excuses let me print and cut my sample so i can show my subbies and that's exactly what i did and here i am uh etsy sticker shop owner and i guess what i'm actually getting orders you guys i just fulfilled three more today so if you ever think that um you want to do something go ahead and do it because you never know you you never know how the outcome is going to come and if it doesn't go well well guess what you still have the option to stop pursuing that dream changing you know changing path it doesn't matter so if you think oh you know what i want to have a planning bit um youtube channel go ahead plan away because look at me i'm not the greatest planner in the world because i kind of quit on it about two years ago but here i am doing plan with me's I wanted to show you guys how I budget. I created a budget channel and honestly I haven't looked back. It's kind of a nice resource uh, just to be able to vent and show you guys the struggles because I like to be real about things. But yeah, I was so happy I did it. It, it was stressful. Trust me, it was. And I think it was more stressful because I didn't know if people would like me. In sticker format in Etsy shop owner you get me it's a lot of self-doubting that goes into things that you don't really notice until you're in the midst of it so I'm happy I, I'm where I'm at and honestly you guys have been like true supporters of my journey and I can't thank you enough but yeah it took me 10 days I gave myself 10 days because I said if I go to this doctor's appointment and they said I'm good to go back to work and my job takes me back, I wasn't going to do it. So, yeah. Here I am. <laughs> I, 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 I filmed the video on Thursday and I was just like, if I have to go to work on Friday, this video is already like filmed and ready to go for Friday and I don't care. So that's, that was my mentality, you guys. That was my exact mentality and... Yeah. I don't even know where I left off. I just heard my fridge and I was like, oh, here we go again. Anywho, here we go. Let me keep outlining. As you guys know, I do my tracking over here. But yeah, I wanted to talk about also the expense that went into um, doing a sticker shop. Of course, you guys know I'm on a debt-free journey. Credit cards don't, don't run my life no more. They don't run my life. I haven't used a credit card since... I can't even remember. It's been forever. I think it's been a solid year, you guys. It's been a solid year. No, I lied. I think I had like a couple slip ups from the Nordstrom sale or something like that. But I kind of returned everything that I bought every time I had a slip up because I could, just couldn't live with myself. Um, but yeah, I there is cost to it. And honestly, I put in everything that I could have available to me that would not you know cripple me financially 
So as you guys know, I had a savings fund and I used that. I used that to, now that's wrong, but I'm gonna put my health on that one then, oh Lord. Um, I used it to fund the opening of my sticker shop. I had to buy sticker paper. I had to buy ink. I had to buy a machine because Lord, my Cricut was being a little, I couldn't figure it out, you guys. That's what it was. I couldn't figure out how to use my Cricut machine. And I have had that for like two years. And I, it just wouldn't cut properly the way it's set up. It's not even, it's not user friendly in my opinion. I don't think the Cricut's user friendly. So, you know, after seeing Shays, you know, how to create stickers on a silhouette, I fell in love with the design space of silhouette. And that's what drove me to get a silhouette. So if I had an advice of you're doing stickers, I say go with a silhouette and forget the cricket. Honestly, that'd be the best advice I could give you. But yeah, um, the cricket cost me seventy dollars, and it, it only cost me that much because I went through offer up. Um, I saw that someone was offering it for like a hundred bucks, and of course I told my boyfriend, "Hey, can you just lowball them a bit and see if they'll take it? Because it's been posted for like three months." Lo and behold, the guy said, yes, come pick it up. And that was the end of that. I started trying out how to design it. It was pretty simple, very simple, really happy. I'm still learning how to um, cut, like, the borders of the stickers. Right now, I'm, like, hand-cutting myself just because I can't get the cutting, cutting settings perfect yet. I'm struggling so hard, you guys. I'm struggling so hard with that. But that's not the point. So the silhouette was $70. And then I have an Epson printer. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but every time I printed something out, even in my cash envelopes, you could see that um, it would print streaky. Like, it would not even print the full color. It would print the color I wanted to, then a streak, and then the actual color, and then a streak, and then whatever faded color could do. And I was just like, this is a horrible printer. So I went and go ahead and bought a, a Canon printer from OfferUp S1. It cost me $40. So that alone was 110 right? 70 and 40 And then I had to buy ink, which was $66. Because, Lord, ink ain't cheap. And that was the cheapest I could find it. And then I bought sticker paper, and the sticker paper was... I don't know it was like 60 bucks as well I'm not sure and then the mailers the mailers were like $20 the cello bags were $5 so you have to account all of that and all of that came out of pocket I paid I cash flowed this so just to see any return back has been amazing so you guys I'm really grateful for you because I'm making something that can support me and I don't know I just I'm, I'm, I'm feel so blessed Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so I'm gonna do exercise oh by the way me and my boyfriend weighed ourselves Lord we're out of shape we are out of shape you guys I think it, weighing ourselves finally you know Gave was that shock that dude we need to do something about our health so um he said starting monday i don't know why it's always on monday but monday that we are gonna start exercising together because honestly i saw romina's vlog and i loved her vlog but every time i would see myself and i'm like dude i'm so overweight like i am so unhappy with my body image and it's not to be negative you know I just feel so unhealthy that I'm just like, I need to do something about it. I'm at the heaviest I've ever been. I'm 190 pounds. And honestly, I'm like, not sure how I let myself get here, but I have. And it's just a work in progress. And that's all that it is. So my health has become my number one priority now. And it... I will say I do blame it. Our bad eating habits, our sedentary lives, it's just bad. We don't, we're not active, we're not eating healthy, and I barely even consume water. So we are working on it. So hopefully, wish me luck on that part. So yeah. 
all right so then for youtube what i like to track is filming editing and uploading i like to do my thumbnails you guys if you are a youtuber and you do thumbnails and you have tips or tricks on how to make this not such a pet peeve of mine let me know let me know your tips your tricks your apps your your whatever you do let me know because uh, this gets me annoyed and i just realized i went over monday oh my god whatever uh thumbnail let me do comments i've been commenting if i have not i at least try to like your comment because i like to be interactive with you guys and then my other social media which is instagram i've been doing stories lately and then twitter i really need to keep up with it i kind of fall off the chart with it but i'm on there too so that's what i like to track i should have moved this a little bit over but too bad next i have a miscellaneous category i'm gonna move the monday over a bit monday tuesday thursday friday saturday and sunday uh dishes it's a pain it's a pet peeve to me to do but once i start doing them i don't care i do them all in one go and then um vacuuming another thing i hate uh cleaning the restroom on a weekly base and then what else what else is that cooking so of course with this whole um health lifestyle realization cooking is gonna have to really be bumped up in my game uh, it, it, we're gonna have to make it work i'm gonna have to learn how to cook healthier meals or just make something that's not so savory savory and last but not least what did i have here youtube oh this is personal not miscellaneous anyhow we're gonna put personal down here just because they were switched out Da, 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 da. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, let me zoom you guys out so you guys can see. Come on, beautiful. I actually forgot a couple other things. Have I been writing in Sharpie the whole time, you guys? I can't tell. I can't tell, but either way, I'm doing my town boat. I uh, we got. I forgot to write some miscellaneous personal things but we're gonna call it miscellaneous ah, mix them up so we got my therapy still working on the therapy that i learned for my hand and my foot not a lot of progress but hey it's there and of course um let's just do care personal care what is it hair and makeup so like i said my weight has really been like downing my mood so i'm trying to do things that will um bring up my spirit so makeup of course makes me feel pretty doing my hair makes me feel pretty you know that kind of stuff so that's what i've been trying to do for personal i'm going to make this etsy we're just going to make this etsy so we're going to do designing i need to start designing um june kits let me know you guys if you guys want to see you know because july did i say june i know i need to design july let me know if you guys want to see a fourth of july theme on the kit or do you just want you know a summer theme because i know a lot of people are kind of like eh, i don't want all that fourth of july on my on my kit but some people are really about it like i'm really about it like i'm about to have like fireworks and burgers and grills all up in my spread but if you're not, let me know like that I can, you know, cater to you as well if you just want, you know, you know, a summer theme with like sunglasses and a lawn chair and, you know, that kind of stuff. Let me know. Print and cut. Ship orders. And then buy supplies. By the way, you guys, um, just know that owning etsy shops is it's an expensive thing i'm not gonna lie it's an expensive i never realized the fees oh my god there's fees to everything 
So let's say I was making $200. I'm like making half of those fees are go to like postage and listing fees and all that kind of nonsense. So now I see why shops go to, you know, their own websites, but you know, I can't afford that because I'm new and I need the marketing help up from Etsy. But yeah, you run out of ink, you guys. You run out of paper. You run, you run out of everything. So just know to have backups and yeah. But when you're starting, you know, you can't just have everything all at once. You know, you got to slowly build up to it. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing. I Today, I got to go buy, um, like, shipping label stuff. What else? I got to buy, like, blue ink because I've been, you know, all my kit is blue. So, all my blue ink is gone. My For some strange reason, my magenta is down. So, I got to go and do that stuff. But I've been having so much fun creating it and... I'm just really happy about it. Okay, everything else. Oh, I know what we're doing Friday. You guys? Okay, I know I'm all over the place. I'm so sorry. John Wick 3. Okay. John Wick movie series is my shit. This is like my Avengers to whatever everyone else had. John Wick is, oh my God. Keanu Reeves? Oh, I can't. So I'm going to put John Wick 3 here because this is what I'm gonna just oh, I can't this is this is this is what I love I'm gonna go see that movie John Wick 3 is my shit I love that movie it's oh, I can't wait He's going to be excommunicado and I cannot wait until he kills all those people in the movie I know it's not even realistic but still the way that movie is filmed, the way he is such a good actor, and you know, he just aged so well. Like, mm, I'll climb that like a tree if I could, but you know, I got bay on my. But anywho, that is all I got, you guys. I know it's pretty blank, but I like setting it up. It's pretty cute. And then I fill it up, literally. I fill it up. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!